Hey there. What? What was that? And what are you wearing? Oh, I have a white jacket, so I thought maybe we'd introduce like a paging Dr. Decker segment. Hey there. And what would Dr. Decker be talking about? I don't know, just things. Um, I guess the first order of business is uh, you're way overdue for your physical. Hmm, you need a better line than that. Sorry. Looks like paging Dr. Decker has been canceled or preempted. We're gonna get that on the drawing board, kind of tweak it, see what we can do with it. But we actually do have some news. Uh, if you want to hear from a real doctor at my last doctor's appointment, I actually recorded a conversation with my doctor. And so perhaps that would go over a little better than paging Dr. Decker. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. He has a white coat, but he earned it, right? <laughs> he did earn it. I got mine at Nordstrom on sale because I wanted a Miami Vice suit. Big difference. So yeah, let's hear from your doctor. All right, take it away. Hey, Sean here. I'm at my doctor's appointment. This is Greg Townsend. Um, we've been seeing each other this way now for about 13 years, right? It's been 13 yeah. years? Oof. We're both getting old. That's a good thing. I mean, <laughs> you're doing your job great. Yeah, this is true. And I'm very this appreciative. Is, this is true. So what do you think about me switching back to my previous medication? Um, I, you know, I think it's a reasonable thing to do. Um, clearly you're having some trouble taking the meds you're on now and the meds you're on before worked great and you never had any problem taking it. It'll work great again. I'm ready. So recently there were headlines that there is a cure for HIV within months. So there's been a lot of very interesting talk about cures of HIV, um, which I think is very exciting. Um, but I think it's a little premature to think that we're just around the corner. Um, the other, the one recent cure was an infant, a uh, newborn, who got cured, and that's a whole different ball of wax from treating an adult with chronic HIV infection. Um, and then there was also talk about adults who were cured with HIV. They weren't actually cured. Um, there's still HIV um, in their system, um, but there's certainly something different about them, and it, it makes the possibility of a cure more real, more real than I think it's been in a long time. Um, so it's very exciting and very hopeful, but I don't think people should feel like, yeah, we're just around the corner from it. Okay, when a, when a cure is available, uh, would you recommend it for me, somebody that's been living with HIV as long as I have? Absolutely. I mean, yeah, HIV is a very treatable disease, um, you know, like diabetes and high blood pressure is, but you know, if I had diabetes and the doctor said I have a cure for you, I'd take it in a heartbeat. So yeah, this same is, with HIV. This is your way of saying you don't want to see me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. Well, I'll see you in four months. All right. Good to see you, Sean. Right. Well, I hope you guys liked Sean's conversation with his doctor, Dr. Greg Townsend. I have a great relationship with my doctor and that's what gets me to those appointments, that's what helps me feel like I can be honest with my doctor, tell him what's going on, and also present my concerns when I have any concerns about HIV medications. There was also a recent study proving exactly what Sean was just talking about, that people who feel like their doctors care about them and know who they are, are much more likely to keep their appointments and keep taking their medications. That's all we got for now, uh, so <laughs> that concludes the first episode of Paging Dr. Decker. I think it was successful. So we'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Hey there.